What is up everybody? Today I'm going to be talking about top 5 videos. So um this is a different topic. This is a uh, um specifically it's SpongeBob, the worst characters from SpongeBob and I'm not going to be talking about Mr. Krabs, I'm not going to be talking about Plankton, and I'm especially not going to be talking about Pearl, I wish, but those are characters that were mostly seen in most of the episodes. But this time, it's um, I dissected into uh, the Spongebob show a little bit and found out that there were worse characters than Mr. Krabs and Plankton, so um, these are the characters that were only seen once and never seen again. So, before I start, I wanna want you guys to sub subscribe because um, that would mean a lot if you guys did. So, um, I'm gonna start the top five SpongeBob characters, the worst SpongeBob characters ever. Okay, so I'm gonna count down to number five. So, number five, the pizza delivery driver. So, in season one, I don't know which episode number, but um, in season one, there's like this character who's um, the pizza delivery customer who uh, asks SpongeBob, where's my drink? He is probably one of the worst characters that I've ever seen in season one. And for good reasons too, because at some point we were always, we had like a minimum wage job at some point. We, uh, we felt like SpongeBob at some point dealing with asshole customers like that guy. And then he didn't even order the drink, he ordered the pizza, and it sucks. And from that moment, that episode made me think that Squidward was one of the best characters in Spongebob because he actually, you know, gave Spongebob a backbone. So I really like Squidward in this episode, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people will once they see the pizza delivery episode. But let me tell you, that asshole customer is not the greatest character ever. I hope he never comes back again either because we don't deal with asshole customers and I'm pretty sure people don't like to deal with them either. So that's why I think he is the worst character from SpongeBob in my personal opinion. So, all right. So I'm gonna count down to number four. Number four is uh, Shiny Bubble. So you probably have never heard of Shiny Bubble. He came in the episode Bubble Buddy Returns. So um, who is Shiny Bubble? Well, he's technically the son of Bubble Buddy, who um, most of you guys have heard of the episode Bubble Buddy, but I'm pretty sure most of you have never heard of Bubble Buddy Returns. Well, basically, in a nutshell, Bubble Buddy is doing something important. So instead, he asks SpongeBob if he can babysit his son who is uh, technically a bubble, but he gets SpongeBob into a lot of trouble. He doesn't speak. He just literally just floats like an inanimate object, like the first one. But this episode really did not make me feel like I appreciated it more. It just felt like garbage, because um, that's what it intended for. It was technically garbage. They tried to come up with a couple of ideas and that was it. So, yeah, it is the worst. And uh, don't watch Bu Bubble Buddy Returns. It's it's the worst. All right. So number three, Puffy Fluffy. I uh, I don't know the name of the episode, but I know that Puffy Fluffy is was um like an uh, exchange like a, a Gary's friend, new friend for SpongeBob when he uh, gets out of work. So. Hey, uh, uh, Puffy Fluffy's the worst character. Why is he the worst character? Because, um, instead of being cute and adorable, he somehow turns into, like, a, a giant ugly monster and then just decides to terrorize Gary and s decides to, like, destroy, uh, Spongebob's house. Like, there, like, there's no purpose in the character whatsoever. He's just, he or she is just in the episode carries off like nothing ever happened and that's it. That's all that we know from the character is that Puffy Fluffy was cute, Spongebob was dumb to own Puffy Fluffy, and uh, yeah, it's terrible. And don't watch the episode because um, if you do, you'll probably regret it, so yeah. So number two, Les Spatula. 
So the name of the episode is All That Glitters. I believe it's uh, episode three or four. I'm not so sure, but um, the spatula is um, a spatula robot. And uh, in a nutshell, SpongeBob had to make an order and the order seemed to break his spatula. So he started to going on with the tantrum and all that kind of stuff. It was, it was pretty funny, but so how did he get the spatula? Well, he saw it when he was walking by town and um, the man who was who owns the spatula, he's like, you don't have enough money. No, it's not gonna be worth much. And then instead of getting the money, he just gets SpongeBob's uniform and then all of that for nothing. And then the spatula, less spatula, would not even cook a Krabby Patty. Like, are you kidding me? SpongeBob went all this time to literally get that spatula for nothing, which is ridiculous. And, and the spatula d does not deserve any respect. He's just like a mean spatula robot who does not deserve to come back whatsoever. Just no. But I highly suggest you guys watch it if you guys are kind of curious. So, yeah. So, the number one, are you ready? The number one worst SpongeBob character is Stanley Squarepants. Now, before you say anything, before you, you judge on my opinion, let it be known that Stanley Squarepants isn't all that appealing and nice. I mean, just look at him. He looks exactly like SpongeBob. The only difference is, is that he's taller, he has hair, he sounds different, and he has giant buck teeth and all that kind of stuff. But here's the thing, here's why I don't like this character. So the reason why I don't like this character is because he makes SpongeBob's life a nightmare. Like literally, he destroyed his refrigerator, his TV. Gary may not even like him, I don't even remember the episode. Um, he destroyed Sandy's astronaut suit, I think, and then he destroyed the money in the cash register, and then literally destroyed SpongeBob's spatula for no apparent reason. He made it look like it was an accident, but honestly, you really think it was an accident? No. He probably did it on purpose. He just made it think that it was an accident, but no, it's just, he's terrible. Really, I, I can't deal with him anymore. And, and especially, even if he does give a few laughs in here and there, I guess he is kind of funny. I mean, there was like this one scene where Stanley took a picture of a, a customer. I think his name was Harold when the what uh, the wedding scene, and <laughs> he was so angry that he exploded. That was that was kind of funny. But then afterwards, he I lost interest in this character, and I really, really, really hate this character so much because there there's just, just nothing good about him. Nothing good about him. He's just there to make a cheap laugh, to ruin Spongebob's day, and that's it. I mean, I if you watch the episode, I think it's called Stanley Squarepants, or another Squarepants, I don't know. But if you watch it, it's, it's really not worth it. It's just another Spongebob garbage to just make Spongebob's life miserable as all the other characters. So, yeah, that's why I think Stanley Squarepants, it is, is the worst. All right, so that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, I hope you appreciate my opinion, and I'm pretty sure you guys will probably go back to watching these episodes, even if you have or haven't, and you'll probably see where I uh, came from, <laughs> from noticing these terrible uh, SpongeBob characters. I hope they don't come back. They shouldn't have been created, but uh, if you worked for Nickelodeon and the SpongeBob crew, you probably had no other choice but to like just pick them anyway so yeah so thank you guys for watching make sure you subscribe and uh see you guys later bye bye